which means post-operation appointment. I'm about to go see my surgeon right now. Uh, it's not easy. Um, my back is really hurting a lot today, but alhamdulillah, we are here. And I just want to say thank you for your love and support always. I will definitely keep you updated with everything. So wish me luck and continue to try your best. Love you all so much. everyone salam alaikum i hope you're all doing well so i just wanted to um give you a quick update about today today was my post-op appointment and the good news is that i am healing pretty nicely my stitches are healing very nicely alhamdulillah and also um i'm not having like pains in my legs which is great um but with my lower back and my abdomen that my whole midsection is going to take some time because it's like it's constant squeezing and nudging and pressing that's the best way I can describe it and um, it's very very uncomfortable so um, my surgeon suggested that I continue doing what I've been doing and to take it easy and to also he reminded me that this is going to be a process and this is going to take time um, so not to be too bummed out um, when those hard days um, come through. The one, one of the challenges was um, getting in and out of the car when I took Uber there to my appointment. And walking downstairs was okay, but walking upstairs was not that fun. Um, so it's going to take some time. But I just want to take a moment just to say thank you to everyone who continuously send me positive messages and prayers and love and kindness. I just hope you know it doesn't go unnoticed. It's it's really something I take very seriously. Um, I thank you all so, so much because it hasn't been easy emotionally. Um, the one thing I, I do want to share in general, and this is for all of those out there who are going through any health issues, whether it's physical or mental health, Please don't let anyone make you feel bad for that, you know, or make you feel guilty or be dismissive about how you feel. That's something that has happened to me more times than I can count. And I can honestly say that I'm at the stage of my life where I will not tolerate that from anyone. And you shouldn't either. This is whether this is goes for family, medical staff, friends, relationship, you name it. It doesn't matter. Always, always, always remember that you matter okay there's only one of you and you have to care about yourself and anyone in your circle who cannot get with that and be loving and caring towards you especially in your time of need are not the people who should be in your life i'm just going to say that honestly um and that's something that's hard for a lot of us especially us nice types because we we don't 
like to think this way or feel this way, but it's something that, you know, I, I'm very passionate about and I feel that it's important that we love ourselves and we care about our well-being and to embrace the people who are willing to care about us and our well-being and to dismiss and leave the people alone who do not love and care about our well-being. I understand we all have our own selfish needs, believe me. Um, but when it comes down to it, if you're really going through a tough time, you're going through a tough time. And understanding and empathy and kindness truly goes a long way. I love you all so, so much. Please take good care of yourselves. Always try your best. And I will talk to you and keep you all updated very soon. Um, if you would like to support me, all of my links are underneath this video. And I'll talk to you soon. Love you so much.